14 on Thumbs Up, our cross country adventure. We're in the Big Easy, we're in New Orleans. Caught a ride late last night out of uh, Lake Providence, uh, Louisiana. We wanna just, I guess it's, what, exactly one year after Katrina. I'm sure you see this shit on the news all the time, but I wanna see it for myself, so we're gonna walk, we're gonna walk over there, check it out, and uh, try to find a decent bowl of gumbo and then get the fuck out of Dodge. Hi, right, we're here. We're here with uh, Thomas King. He's from Thomas King. He's yeah. from uh, where are you from? New Orleans. I'm out of Nine One. Let's see. Ninth Ward. We're uh, we're about to head over that way just to check it out. Do you think two Asian guys will be all right walking around the Ninth Ward? Yeah, man. I mean, <laughs> y'all be straight. All y'all gotta do is, you know, what I'm saying, keep your head up, look for, you know, you gotta keep your eyes open, you know, what I'm saying, cause ain't no telling what might happen, you know, what I'm saying. He, Right now, like I said, it's hot and everybody wants something. You know, everybody hungry, ain't got no money, ain't hurting out here, and they'll, they'll jack you quick. So you just gotta be careful. All right. You know, just watch yourself. All right. Hey, thank you so much for talking with us. Oh, for sure. Y'all yeah, be cool. All right, man. So this is uh, where the levee broke, and then all these houses here got blasted. Uh, but I guess they fixed it now. Everyone wants to come out to New Orleans to party. And uh, it's just sad. I talked to a fellow today in the restroom while I was in the bathroom and he said, uh, the heart and soul of the city's gone and it'll never come back. And now all the uh, scavengers and pirates, and uh, it's the wild west out here. I can't believe this is America. Hi, David. Hi, Tiara. Tiara, we're just traveling cross country and we just got to uh, New Orleans today. And uh, I mean, I mean, I can't, I'm pretty much, I, I don't know what to say. I can't, I can't believe it. Like, but you're, you're, you're from the ninth ward? No, I'm really from the third ward, but I stayed back here not talking about them all Josephine. I just recently came back here when my brother and my cousin got shot in Houston. Your, your brother and your cousin are from here? Yeah. They went to Houston after Katrina and they... Got into it with them people out there and they killed them. Who? I don't know the boy's name, but my brother named Vincent Williams and my cousin named Yolanda Styles. And they both got shot? Yeah. And are, are they okay or are they... No, they passed. They passed away. Oh my goodness. Um, so what's the situation now? I mean, it looks like uh, there's... It's it, really terrible out here. It's yeah, it terrible. I mean... It's what? bad. It's you... not really fit for people to come back. So so why did you? Because my mom wanted to not talk about because where we stay at, right. it's kind of straight and then it ain't. So Roots is here, you stay here, home is here. Home is here. Even if it's bad like this. Who are your neighbors? Yeah. I don't really have neighbors. I don't really have neighbors. Wow, so wow. it's just you just walking around the street by yourself? Yeah, I tend to go to the bus stop. We're up in the third ward. We're gonna hang out with these guys. So I'm Dave. I'm Bling Bling. Bling Bling. This is Harry. Bling Bling. 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 Tell, tell, tell us where we're at right now. Oh. What's going on? Oh, well, I was speaking. I was speaking. Joe Defeat. You heard me? Uptown Joe Defeat. Third wall. You heard me? We doing it big out here. We got a little grill yeah, going on. Look at on the food. You heard wow, me? This is my dog Eddie right that's here. That's our cook. What's up? What's up? Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Is that the general, the third war general? Yeah. Uh -oh. The general is cooking all kinds of goodness. The general definitely takes care of his army. They're fed well. People are smiling. 
Where are we? This is the world. Pretty much. Out of all 50 states. Out of this all state. All out of all 50 states. Louisiana. This is the center of the world. The center. This is the world. This is the epitome. I'll tell you what, you're the most hospitable, that's for sure. I was born and raised in Metairie, Louisiana. I went to school with whites. Asian. Right. Uh, Indian. Right. Matters not the difference. Right. The only thing my mother ever told me about any individual is when that person hits you, right. you hit that person. She never taught me about color. Right. Because they were all my friends. Right. Yeah. What you got in there? Sausage? Turkey necks and sausage. Turkey necks. Yeah, celery. celery. Turkey necks. That's delicious. Josephine, Third Ward, Click. That's where we're at. New Orleans. See you guys later. Josephine, yeah. Third Ward, Click. Uptown. Josephine, Uptown. Uh, uptown by far. The, uptown, Josephine. Uptown. Third Ward. Third Ward. Third Ward, Click. Third Ward. Third Ward. Third Ward. Third Ward. Bye. By far the most at home I felt on this entire trip. By far the best food I've had on this entire trip. Unbelievable. I'll always remember, we'll always have a home here. Take it all the way to Miami. Be there hopefully by tomorrow as uh, the sun sets over the Big Easy. We uh, head home and uh, hopefully get to the Atlantic Ocean by tomorrow. Pretty much had the most exper amazing experience of the trip so far. Uh, I can't believe how nice these people were and uh, how delicious the food was. The sauce, I don't know what was in there. Spicy as fuck. Got all the sinuses going, delicious. But as the sun sets over New Orleans, uh, we head hopefully on our last leg of the race towards the east and hopefully soon these mosquito bite ridden disease sunburned toes will get to touch the Atlantic Ocean. Just the uh, fuck yeah, Miami. Fuck it right, Miami. That's where y'all from. No, hey, Miami, I'm a cool ass from the south, from Grand Isle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fuck me, I'm American. Hey, how you like me now? Yeah, you gotta be American if you don't drink and drive, bro. Oh, you know, I'm no, American. That's the American way, man. Fuck that's right. the American way. Yeah. Every single that person that's All right, bro, I'm going to Bay St. Louis, Mississippi. Where are y'all Americans are going? Well, everyone, so, bro, everyone, everyone that picks us up is drinking. And they have broken windshields. That's like you have to hey, pick man. us up. This is just anything else you want to say? Anything else you want to say? Man, bro, I hope y'all fucking best of luck, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm going to hell if I don't pray. Y'all coming with me? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, man. Bro, hey, man, nobody ever fucking filmed me before in my life. Well, anything you want to tell us? Anything you want to say? Hey, man, y'all be careful. I love y'all, bro. No, I'm tell us something best. about yourself. I'm crazy. I'm going to work in the morning. And it's American way. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. We appreciate it. Shit, give you a ride anywhere y'all want to go. Right. Then it wouldn't hurt my pocketbook. <laughs> my pocketbook, I got enough gas to make it to my job, bro. Oh. Uh, that's American way, bro. Hey. I just seen y'all three poor motherfuckers on the side of the road, seen y'all with a camera. Wait a minute, what the hell's going on? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for the ride. Right, bro. Go easy on that. And oh, yeah, bro. I'm going hey. to my job right now, buddy. Hey, stick to soft porn and soft drugs. Soft porn uh, and soft drugs. Stay off the hard stuff. I just smoke weed. <laughs> Barbecue! Hell yeah, let's take a look at this. That's cool ass! What is this? <laughs> this is cool ass barbecue. Oh, oh my god! My god. <laughs> oh my god!
<laughs> dun, dun, dun. You want a bite? Take a bite. Take a bite. Uh, Coon ass. <laughs> Coon ass <bu> <laughs> American barbecue. <laughs> I love you, man. Thank you. I love you. All right. <laughs> so here we are in uh, Theodore, Alabama, and I was in the pilot getting a drink and taking a piss, and uh, I noticed this guy Jerry moping around, and I noticed the jail tattoo, yeah. he's got a cross right here, and uh, the yeah, skull, the skulls, yeah. what's that, treasure chest, chest. Yeah. seahorse, that's hardcore. Jerry just told me something very strange. He said he's locked up. He's in jail. Yeah. In prison. But obviously he's not locked up because he's here talking to me. So what's... Uh, I'm on a... We have a work release program okay. through the penitentiary. And uh, there's one in Mobile. This, right. There's a... Uh, this is like the Mobile area. Right. And uh, we get to come out and work and during the day and at night and stuff. And we get paid. They get all our money. It really sucks. So. And, then, and then you got to go back to jail. Yeah, I got to go back tonight. So, if you don't mind me asking, what what was the crime? Uh, DUI. DUI? Yeah, too many. Oh my god. You get four DUIs, it's a felony. Wow, you like to drink. Yeah, I like to drink. <laughs> yeah. how, how is, so, prison doesn't seem that bad, is it horrible or? Well, uh, until you get to where I'm at, it's kind of horrible. I've been locked up for uh, three years, so. For the DUI? Yeah. What are you not telling me, Jerry? Oh, I mean, for real. That's three years for three DUI? Three years. I got then a, you uh, really like to drink. I got a 10 year sentence. DUI. Wow. Ten years, don't drink and drive. <laughs> what is what is the biggest problem day to day that you face while you're in prison? Money. Money? Yeah, they take all your money. So you work here and they get and they take ninety percent of it? Uh forty percent and then twenty five for restitution. So, forty. So you get like a dollar an hour. I get like let's see, like thirty dollars out of every hundred, maybe. Uh <laughs> Well, yes, did you uh, did you learn your lesson? Or are you? Can't? Oh yeah, I've learned my lesson. No doubt. Can I buy you a drink right now? I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> um, One more drink. All right. Well, not I, even on your I, time off. Not even on my time I off. I totally don't believe you, but all right. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. So let's let's talk. You know, we're we're drifters. We're on we're on the road. We're hitchhiking. Okay. Let's make a run for it. Nah. Come on, man. man. That's US, escape. <laughs> you got, yeah, you got seven warriors. Fuck this, man. Let's go to Miami. Let's go to Florida, man. Let's don't do that. All right, Jerry. Yeah. You're no fun. Let's escape. Come on, man. No, <laughs> man. Get the fuck out of here, man. Let's hey, get man, the it's fuck out of here. Nice to meet you. Work, man. Nice fuck job. work, man. Come on, Jerry. Let's get out of here. I can't do it. Good luck. All right. We're here in Alabama at the dog park. We're only going to be through Alabama because it's this big where we're going through the 10. Theodore, Alabama, the dog races. Santa's little helper. It's fucking on. I'm ready for my trifecta. Superfecta. Today is day, day 15 on our journey. We're somewhere in the panhandle of Florida. We're trying to get to Miami and uh, look at what we found, a fellow drifter, fellow train hopper. Right. Used to jump the train that's all the time. All the time. So during all your years of train hopping, what's the craziest thing you ever seen? I've seen a lady, I've seen sexual acts on the train. I don't see, oh man. What what you what did you see on the train? You saw? I, oh, seeing a lady getting a man a blowjob. On, a, on wow. the train, the train running along. <laughs> I've seen them cooking on the train. They have their pots and stuff and cooking. Wow. Yeah, man. This you see a lot of wild stuff on the train. But you, but you haven't done it in a while, huh? No, I, I ain't in the shape. I'm a, I'm an old man now. I ain't quite the shape I used to be. How know? was that blowjob though? Man, <laughs> it wasn't me, it wasn't none of me. But I see, I see, uh, it aroused me now. <laughs> I was sitting there listening. I'm listening, you know what I mean? Right. You know, it ain't a person. I'm just sitting there listening. Hey, man, quick. if, if, if you're hopping trains and there's people getting blowjobs, don't you want to hop the trains all the time? No. <laughs> Not really. Hey, what, what do you do? Uh, last question. What do you do when you're, you know, you're on the train and, you know, you got to do number two? You know? Boo-boo then, throw it out the door. <laughs> <laughs> you boo-boo there and you throw it throw out, out the door. The door. Yeah. Throw it out the door. Yeah. Thanks, Freddie. Yeah, man. Wish us luck. Yeah, wish us luck, man.
Miami, Florida. It's a lonely road. So we just got a uh, ride in, uh, I have no idea where we are, somewhere in the panhandle of uh, Florida. And uh, the trains are very sporadic, so we might just hitchhike to uh, Miami. If we could catch a train, that would be great. But if not, we'll just thumb it out. Thumbs up, America. We fucking love you. What's your name? Mike. Mike, I'm David. This is Harry. We're just going okay. cross country. This is our 15th day. We came all the way from LA. We're, you know, hopefully going to hit Miami tonight. Um, we're tired, dirty. 15 days you've just come from LA? Yeah, hitchhiking, hopping the trains. So we're tired, dirty, you know. So we you look like you can use a couple shirts. Uh, I mean, I don't, if, if you got it, that would be great. We, we smell really bad, but, you know, I don't want to trouble you. Yeah, man. Here, let me give you something. Are you serious? Yeah, hang on. Hey, here's one. You like pink? <laughs> uh, hey, we'll take we'll take whatever. Hey, yeah, there's one there. Oh, thanks. Mike. Okay, great. Hey, thanks, take care. Right, right. All right. Yeah. See you. Wow. <laughs> you want pink or orange? I'll wear the pink. All right. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> uh, I guess one size definitely fits all. <laughs> Best shirts ever. Wow. I guess we'll sleep warm tonight. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> We're definitely, definitely gonna get rides in these. <sighs> I, don't, I don't know if they'll be the rides that we want, but we'll definitely get rides in these. <laughs> yeah. Thumbs up America. We love cats and flowers and <laughs> butterflies. So we, we just got dropped off by Mike and then this bus pulled up right behind us with uh, like a bunch of workers. Like, I don't know what, where they're going to work, but they just stopped and a bunch of them got off to use the restroom and Jacinto are our cameraman that is very fluent in Spanish uh, asked him if we could have a ride and he said yes and now we're on the bus. Hola! I'm not sure exactly what happened but uh, somewhere in the panhandle of Florida. Uh, we got on a bus and uh, I think we're somewhere near Miami. We got on a bus that was predominantly uh, farm workers. They're tomato farmers. And the boss said if we work for free, he might give us a ride closer into town. So off to make salsa. Thumbs up, America. Made it. We're in Miami. We went from the Pacific to the Atlantic. America, we did it. Here we are in the beautiful Atlantic Ocean on day 16 as the sun comes up. But I gotta tell you, boy, do I got a lot of words for you. I mean, I have a lot of, I got a lot of mixed emotions right now. America, you're like the bossy know-it-all. You're like 
the kid I want to beat up. You're like, I want to like, you're like the half sister that I want to fuck, or the actual sister I want to fuck. You're like, uh, you're like my ex girlfriend that I want to duct tape and shit on her chest. But like, I fucking love you and I hate you and I want to like slap you and I want to dry ass rape you. But then I want to like pet you and cuddle with you and like dry hump you and like cuddle with you and spoon you and hold hands with you. I, have, I love you and I hate you and I have very mixed feelings toward you, but I feel like I'm gonna cry right now because it has been one of the most amazing American adventures ever. Every day I woke up, I had no idea what was gonna happen and it was just, the people are so crazy and so diverse and so, you know, the good, the bad and the ugly, it's all American. And uh, I'm really sad because I'm gonna be home soon and it's gonna be like 16 days to trek across this country through land, ocean, lakes, rivers, through cars, trains, automobiles, and then we're just gonna fly back in five hours and tomorrow morning I'm gonna wake up. I know exactly where I'm gonna eat for breakfast and it's just gonna be like hitting a brick wall. But America, Dave and Harry are on the road. Mm -hmm. we, we're here, we're there, we're everywhere. Who knows where you'll see us next. The romance is back, America. We love you. We love you. No matter how many harsh things you said to us and no matter, no matter how many bad things we said to you, in the end, we forgive, we, we, love. For, we love, we're full of so much love, we forgive, we forget, and it's tomorrow we go to sleep and we wake up and it's just a whole new day, and Au revoir. Th thumbs up America, we love you.